Welcome back to the 2015 Solheim Cup opening ceremony. This lady really needs no introduction. She is a seven-time major champion and has represented the United States nine times in this wonderful competition, amassing a team record 18 and a half points. It is my great pleasure to welcome the United States captain to say a few words, ladies and gentlemen, Julie Inkster. Thank you very much. I have to say, as uh, being the Solheim Cup captain, this is what I really look forward to was the speech. <laughs> I'm honored to stand before you, before you at the 14th Solheim Cup as team captain of the USA. Golf has been so good to me. Every day I get to go out and do what I love to do. I've met so many great people in this game of golf. When I was asked to be captain of the Solheim Cup, I couldn't wait to get started. It has been everything I thought it would be and more. The best part of this journey is being alongside my team. Just listening to them, watching them interact, seeing their passion, for the game of golf, and for their country. It's been truly amazing. With this event of this magnitude, there are several notable and deserving mentions and thanks that I need to give. The creation and involvement of the Solheim Cup would not be possible without the visionary leadership of Karsten and Louise and their family. Early on, they recognized the passion and talent in the women's game and helped create today what has become the Solheim Cup. John Solheim and his family have continued his passion to grow the game and to make this a greater stage for the Solheim. This has grown youth participation in women's golf. Just look up there how good the Solheim Cup juniors played and their passion for the game. Global events like this are not possible with visionary corporate partners. I want to recognize Ping, Rolex, SAP, and Allianz for their support in this event and their continued support in women's golf. We deeply appreciate it. I want to thank the players' families for making this journey to support Team USA. Believe me, we know the sacrifice you make for us, and we greatly appreciate it. I want to thank our caddies, who looked stunning tonight, for putting up with all our little weirdnesses I know it's not easy, but thanks for keeping everybody light and loose this week. We really appreciate it. I have to give a huge thanks to Mike Wan, the commissioner of the LPGA, and his staff, Ivan Kordabash, commissioner of the LAT, and his staff, for their tireless work over the last two years to make this event special for all of us. Believe me, you have succeeded. And a particular thanks to my liaison, Chris Garrett, who has put up with me for two years. <laughs> and as anybody who knows me, that is not an easy task. So Chris, thank you very much for all you do for me. This would not be any fun without my ass captains and, uh, or assistant captains, excuse me. <laughs> Pat Hurst, 
Winnie Ward and Nancy Lopez. They totally keep me on the straight and narrow, and I can get a little wayward sometimes, but uh, they get me back to right where I need to be. So I appreciate you guys and all your help. It's been awesome. I would like to thank my family for giving me the opportunity and supporting me in all my journeys. They've been a lot, so I really appreciate it. I have many great friends that have made the trip to Germany from the States, and I can't tell you how much it means to me for all you guys to have come here and be by my side. Uh, thank you very much. Two people that are by my side today that have been by my side throughout my life are my parents. Something came up and they couldn't make it, but I just want them to know how much they influence who I am. They will be missed this week, but I know they'll be watching back home in Santa Cruz, California. So love you, Mom and Dad. Great events need a great stage, and I want to recognize the support and generosity of Mr. Hopp. His staff at Golf Club St. Leon Road have been nothing but helpful and very welcoming. The food has been absolutely amazing. <laughs> and I have to say, the team's U.S. favorite food is the Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> it's phenomenal. <laughs> Lastly, I want to recognize the the captains in attendance, former captains in attendance here today. It's the who's who of women's golf. Joanne Carner, Pat Bradley, Rosie Jones, Alice Miller, Judy Rankin, Beth Daniel, Betsy King, and Mae Mallon. Can you guys stand for us? I do have to say, I have a, a greater appreciation for all you guys have gone through. <laughs> also, there are uh, many LPGA players that have come uh, from the States to support us, and I want to thank you for coming all this way to support your peers. They will uh, very much welcome that. If possible, I'd like to change gears for a moment and to mention someone very special to the world of golf and especially the LPGA. Louise Suggs. Louise passed away recently, and for those who don't know Louise, she is a founder of the LPGA, a Hall of Famer. She won 58 times on the LPGA, 11 majors. She was always there for the players and the LPGA. She loved the Solheim dearly. I mean, she was always sitting on the first tee, and she's going to be deeply missed this year. I think my, one of my favorite quotes from Louise is, golf is very much like a love affair. If you don't take it seriously, it's no fun. If you do, it breaks your heart. <laughs> don't break your heart, but flirt with the possibilities. So if we could just take a quick moment of silence and um, thank Louise for what she's done for the game of golf. Thank you very much. The Solheim to me was my favorite event and also my most nerve wracking. I just love being around my teammates and I learned so much about myself as a player, as a teammate, and as down the road as a mom. I also happened to learn a lot about my kids during one particular Solheim. Judy Rankin in 1998 asked my kids to, and myself to raise the flag. My kids were eight and four at the time. And I'm not really sure they even know what I did. Um, they knew I played golf. They knew I did something different than the other mothers that uh, they went to school with. But um, 
We got done with that Solheim, and we were on the bus back, and I had my eight-year-old Haley sitting to, next to me, and she looked up to me, and she says, you know what, Mom? I get why you do it. And I'm like, what do you mean? She goes, I get why you play golf. She goes, that was the most fun I ever had. And, you know, she was only eight, so she didn't have a lot of fun, but <laughs> for eight years old, she was good. So that's what the Solheim really means to me. It's all about family. It's all about bringing everybody together. And um, I just wanted to share a little story like that to you. This is a unique setup, and the team Orion is, brings out the best in these amazing athletes on both teams, and they get to showcase their talents. While we compete passionately for our nations and for each other, this event is special because it builds lifelong friendships in team rooms and across rival team rooms. I've had a lot of Solheims with Laura Davies, nine to be exact. We somehow always get paired together in tournaments, probably because we're the over 50 group. <laughs> But our conversation always go back to the Solheim, about an experience, maybe about a shot, maybe about something that happened down the road. We never talk about the wins, who won or who lost. We talk about the Solheim. And to me, that is what the Solheim is all about. I want to thank my team for making this such a great journey, for welcoming my family into theirs, for the gentle hug and the great smiles, and maybe just for a little chat. It's been amazing, and I look forward to it in these next three days. And with that, I'm going to introduce my amazing team. From Mount Pleasant, California, Paula Creamer. <laughs> Miami, Florida, Christy Kerr. McKin McKinney, Texas, Brittany Lang. California girl from Valencia, Allison Lee. From the Woodlands, Texas, Stacy Lewis. From St. Petersburg's, Florida, Brittany Lincecum. From Roswell, New Mexico, Jarena Pillar. Boca Raton, Florida, Morgan Pressel. Another California girl, Azusa, California, Lizette Salas. From Fort Worth, Texas, Angela Stanford. From Coral Springs, Lexi Thompson. And a hula girl from Honolulu, Hawaii, Michelle Wee. Finally, I'm looking forward to tomorrow when the matches start and the golf begins. I want to wish Karen and Sophie and Maria, Annika, and the European team all the luck. And we'll see you on the first tee.